Hi Libra, welcome to your annual 2024-25 astrology horoscope forecast. Welcome to my channel. It's a transitional year Librans as we move from the earth and water energies and we move into the fire and air frequencies. I'm going to be focusing on um, slower moving planets. I'm going to be looking at Pluto and Jupiter primarily. I have spoken at uh, in great length on Pluto. I'm going to be linking up the video over here. Uh, should it be worth your while if you want to know more about Pluto and exactly why is it that we should not be ignoring Pluto besides the fact that it is a 20 year transit and how it is that it's going to be impacting all of us irrespective of what zodiac sign where we are placed on the globe Pluto is going to be impacting and transforming our lives for sure and for good. Uh, Pluto is one of the slowest uh, moving planets. It takes about 252 years for it to complete one orbit and uh, during our lifetime maybe only once we'll get to experience Pluto depending as to where it is aspecting for you in your chart. Uh, Pluto has been there in Capricorn for the last uh, 20 odd years. Uh, we have experienced a lot of structure, a lot of uh, structural changes. Uh, both uh, physically as to how the map of the world has changed and also as far as authority figures are concerned, leaders are concerned, policies where everything may be very very hard lined and uh, also the inclination to hoard more, to buy more, more of a consumerist mindset. But now uh, Pluto has entered into Aquarius that is uh, all about uh, collective consciousness, it's about collective growth, it's about technology, it's about AI, it's about uh, softwares, it is how it is that we adapt ourselves, how it is that we expand and open our minds and look at the world as really um, one unit, not to be sort of uh, living in different paths and uh, um, you know thinking that our actions are not going to be having consequences at a uh, you know at the world at large but uh, being very conscious and Aquarius is more of a we energy it is not a me it's not a very self-centered energy. Now Pluto uh, has started its final shift and around January um, 21st it's sort of rolled into Aquarius and into your house of love romance creativity and children Librans and this is your house it's ruled by Venus and uh, there's nothing more important to you Librans than relationships are but uh, they're um, by the time that this transit gets over like I said it's a very long transit it's there for 20 years your perspectives around these areas are going to radically uh, shift it's almost that you'll have a new perspective on relationships. It's going to be like a rebirth. So um, Pluto uh, is all about uh, struggles. It's about power struggles. It's about uh, obsessiveness. It's about intensity and it is how it is that we manage them. And uh, Pluto will bring about more such situations in your life, Libra's, um, unfortunately or fortunately so that we can grow and we can learn. And um, you know how some of us will get really obsessed with our ho hobbies, that we'll get really passionate, really driven. Um, so if so far you have just been, you know, you've been dabbling in little painting, uh, you'll just find that you are like, really driven, you're going to make a career out of it. And uh, similarly, there could be some power struggles with your own children, or there could be some... Um, you know, relationships uh, may not be as easy as they have been. Things may get slightly more complicated. And uh, this um, extremely long but uh, gradual transit is going to uh, bring about gradual changes in attitudes about uh, love affairs and attitudes in uh, creativity, hobbies, recreation, children, self-expression, leisure time and entertainment. And um, you, know, you might feel that your affections and interests are turned uh, uh, inside out or uh, you know upside down. And on uh, some levels, uh, you are no longer the same person as a result. And uh, 
expectations transform and evolve for the better and you will still um, want that intensity and passion you're going to be craving it Librans and mediocre is no longer going to be um, you know there in your uh, book um, hence it's uh, important for you to um, watch out uh, the need to have the upper hand and the need to know all uh, with people you love especially your um, uh, you know your partners your lovers uh, or your children during this uh, lengthy transit and um, during this period also for a lot of you uh, you will truly be um, trying to learn to control your own creativity so that you can do something uh, special with it and also you could be uh, coming in touch with your own creative impulses and uh, ambitions that you know you never knew uh, that you had and uh, a lot of you could be investing a lot of uh, not just time but I think uh, a lot of um, investment a financial investment as well in your uh, hobbies and uh, a lot of attention is going to be um, paid in your uh, you know um, in things that truly give you pleasure like your passions your hobbies or even child rearing in certain cases and you're going to be taking a lot of uh, pride in it and invest um, a lot of your ego uh, also into it so whatever it is you know that you create or you produce during this time it's like going to be uh, you know um, something which you're really uh, passionate about um, romance also for a lot of you it's you know not going to be light-hearted unfortunately there's going to be a lot of intensity and passion that you're going to be uh, seeking and you would want it to be deeply intimate it's nothing superficial is going to interest you and the contrast over here is that you will come across people who are uh, superficial who are maybe not seeking or do not have the kind of depth or intensity uh, that you have and hence uh, you know you will be asked to sort of work uh, on that on uh, you know that everybody may not have the same kind of uh, depth that you do and uh, uh, because Pluto tends to go really deep inside it's, it's the god of underworld uh, it tends to uh, bring everything uh, out uh, it can be that uh, deep-seated fear of uh, loss or betrayal can be you know behind any obsessiveness jealousy or controlling uh, behavior in this uh, house of love romance and creativity and it can include romantic involvements uh, child rearing or creative endeavors so your attitude towards play and in entertainment and all is it's no longer going to be very light and fluid and Librans you're known to be like very chilled and very sort of happy-go-lucky but uh, this transit is going to be bringing out your dark side it's going to be making you quite obsessive and a bit of a, uh, a control freak so that is something that you need to be watching out you need to be detaching yourself and um, you know uh, having that uh, attitude or that mindset of wearing things uh, lightly being uh, easy and staying light-hearted uh, humor is going to be your best friend Librans uh, have the uh, courage to laugh at yourself uh, but also um, make it a, a habit not to sort of repeat the same mistakes see people for who they are and before you sort of just deep dive into that uh, you know uh, intensity or that uh, kind of uh, intimacy or that kind of depth that you're requiring uh, keep it a little light-hearted and see it through for what it is that the other person is capable of reciprocating um, it's also um, you know um, for some of you who are creative um, it could be that your fear of uh, perceived failure could sort of keep you away from completely throwing yourself into it and that is something that you will really have to work through and um, you know give yourself the confidence that even if this is not going to be really commercially viable then because it is something which is so close to your soul and it resonates so deeply with you this is something that you should see through 
Now, uh, in a gist, how you can survive the plutonium transit, uh, it's, it's really, really long and I think I can really uh, go on and on about it. But uh, to just sum it up, that uh, it's one of the best things that you can do with Pluto being in this house is to pursue your creative uh, endeavors. Uh, focus on things that you are fond of, your hobbies, you know. So if you um, are really like writing or whatever it may be, you know, or any hobby, this is the time that you should pursue it so that you can really ease it, you can, you know, really refine it. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind that, um, you know, creativity and, and our hobbies, uh, our extracurricular activities are, these are the things that, they give us pleasure, which we take time off from our regular mundane life and we enjoy that. Ensure that those hobbies don't get so obsessive that you forget to enjoy them. So take time out regularly to sort of step back from it. Uh, you know, it's not that if you're painting that that's all that you're doing. You stop doing uh, anything else. You stop sort of, uh, uh, you know, you cut, just cut yourself from the world. Uh, Pluto also loves it that when you work on the stuff that you're holding deep uh, inside yourself and you work to transform your approach uh, and perspective. So um, that's, I think, the fabulous thing about, oh, you know, these strong planets like Pluto and uh, Saturn is that if you work with the energy, then it will really sort of help you. It will help you transform, evolve uh, quicker. So try and look at the stuff that is inside you, you know, the, whether they're in a resentments, whether... There's an inner child of you that has not been nurtured. What is it that you need to be taking care of? Are you indulging yourself too much? Are you, you know, just sort of letting yourself get away with everything? Or are you too hard on yourself, you know, that you are just so uh, unforgiving of yourself that you are, you've just set the bar so high, you know, that forget about anyone being good enough. You are not good enough to, you know, whether be in a relationship or, uh, you know, to be getting that prestigious job which you deserve. So um, be also careful about uh, being a little uh, obsessive where romantic relationships are concerned because you may sort of, uh, you know, um, attract people who are a little stalkerish. So, uh, yeah, in all cases, that's not a bad thing, but uh, be a little careful about that. And um, it's also uh, a time that if you have children, uh, you know, give them enough uh, space that you're not sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, breathing down their necks or breathing on their behalf and try not to be too controlling of them. Uh, this transit uh, can be more prominent uh, in your life when you have another transit like a Saturn um, or a... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Uranus along with Pluto uh, in this house. So that could uh, be more uh, patent, uh, potent as well for you. We have the first set of eclipses. We have lunar eclipse on March 25th that is there in your own house of self. And then we have a solar eclipse on the 8th of April that is there in your house of marriage. And this is also the house of uh, your business partnership as well. So the first set of eclipses are going to be uh, bringing about changes in home, uh, career, and also your own uh, self and your closest relationships. So uh, eclipses last for about six months. So it's a time wherein that uh, something is coming to an end as far as, uh, I think, um, awareness about your own sense of self. Uh, maybe you will be taking a recourse of what is it that you want in life, how it is that uh, you would want uh, or what your future goals are or if they have not been met maybe there's a course direction that you're taking uh, with a solar eclipse in april in your house of um, relationships and uh, marriage and business partnerships it could be that you are either starting a new uh, business venture uh, in some cases it could be that you are um, uh, some of you are getting married as well now, on the May 25th, we have Jupiter. This is the second big thing, which is moving into your house of um, expansion of the mind, spirituality, uh, long distance travel. And this is Jupiter's own house. Jupiter is very happy being there. So Pluto uh, in the house of um, uh, your uh, uh, love, romance, creativity and children is resonating with uh, 
Jupiter that is there in your house of expansion of the mind. Uh, of the mind. Jupiter moving into your house of uh, expansion of the mind uh, and spirituality. This is Jupiter's own house. Jupiter loves being over here. An expansive, optimistic attitude is, uh, you know, going to be with you and you're going to be quite, uh, you're not going to be bothered about the petty problems and inconveniences and uh, there could be a lot of travel, opportunity to travel, study abroad, uh, expand your horizons, meet the pe meet people who are from diverse uh, backgrounds and uh, you could also, uh, you know, there could be a tendency to become more intellectually curious and academic. Uh, matters will go well. Uh, you're also going to be quite open during this Jupiter transit to learning, particularly about subjects that may normally take, you may take little interest in. And uh, furthering your education in any capacity is possible and it is likely to be very successful right now. So uh, success in business uh, for a lot of you is going to be uh, likely through expansion, expanding your business and maybe it could be with foreigners. Um, advertising and promotional activities are really favored during this time and it could be one of the um, main key uh, you know reasons to for business success right now uh, legal matters may be especially be favorable uh, for you as well uh, authors could be um, publishing their work uh, expanding their audience and uh, they could be receiving positive feedback uh, for their work Educational and travel opportunities are going to be expanding your mind. Teaching and learning is greatly favored uh, during this time as well. Uh, it's also an excellent period uh, for those of you who have in-laws. It's a good time to be dealing uh, with them as well. Uh, your mind is going to be very expansive and uh, tolerant and you're going to be under less stress uh, than usual. And uh, you're going to be uh, less inclined to sweat uh, the small stuff as well. Uh, your priorities are, um, you know, they're going to be easier to see and as you gain perspective uh, on your life and its meaning, uh, your uh, creative juices are going to flow and you're generally going to be uh, benefiting from great health. So it's a fabulous, fabulous time because this is Jupiter's house and anything that Jupiter touches, it, it's a benefactor, it tends to really expand and give. Um, this is also a time where you're going to be having a lot of faith in uh, your purpose, you know, and it's going to have a higher meaning uh, for your life and it's going to sort of help you ease the stress and open the doors for you. Mercury retrogrades are in April, August and November and they are there all in fire um, houses. For you, it's a house of uh, communication, it's a house of your marriage and it's a house of groups of friends and people. So need to be again stepping back uh, in April, August and November, uh, looking at, uh, you know, being careful about your communication, being ensuring that you have, uh, you know, uh, backed up your data, uh, ensuring that you're very careful about the kind of WhatsApp conversations that you're having. Um, important also, I think, where personal relationships, your marriage is concerned, good time to be sort of stepping back and seeing as to, um, you know, what is it that can be changed? What is it that can be transformed? And uh, also as far as your groups of friends are there. And I think, uh, you know, Pluto being there in the house of uh, your uh, love, romance and creativity and children, it is somehow relationships are in various type points of time going to get influenced. And uh, Mercury retrograde comes as a pause. It, it actually allows us to step back and then look into, um, you know, our um, uh, our life and see whether the things that we need to be, um, we need to be learning from, you know, things that we need to be stepping away from. Maybe we're very close to them uh, and uh, or to the situations and we need to be taking a step back from them. Uh, so for you, communication, marriage and business partnerships and groups of friends. Mid-year, that is September 18th, we have a lunar eclipse that is there in your house of day-to-day uh, -day chores. This is the house of your work and health. And uh, then in October, we have a solar eclipse that is there in your house of self. Now, um, both this house of, uh, uh, you know, uh, your day-to-day -day chores and your health 
uh, is going to bring about maybe an end to a health concern that you had. In certain cases, it's also going to be finishing maybe a project for you. And uh, uh, October, however, um, there is going to be, you know, a sense of a sort of uh, whether it is um, renewed uh, sense of uh, self-confidence, self-esteem, wherein that, you know, you will feel that you can uh, take on the world as well. We're closing the year on December 6th with Mars, which is going retrograde in your groups of friends and uh, with people whom you consider your tribe. And uh, this is going retrograde till about February 2025. So that's a fairly long uh, retrograde. Uh, it's a time wherein you're being asked to uh, reflect uh, where, uh, you know, uh, sifting the wheat from the chaff where friendships are concerned. Again, a time to be sifting and letting go of uh, people who serve no purpose. And I think this is the... Maybe the hardest lessons leaves for you, uh, also with Pluto being there for the next 20 years, I think throughout you are going to be asked to detach, look at people for who they are and let them go. Uh, because you're so social and because you enjoy relationships so much, Librans, it could be slightly heartbreaking for you to you know, be, see, be seeing your friends for who they are. Maybe you are not as important to them as you think they are to you. Uh, maybe there is this entire sense of this need of wanting to be um, someone in their lives and this is not a transactional energy Librans I think you by far are one of the way giving uh, zodiac in relationships you it gives you happiness to give you know and especially where friendships are concerned you are someone who's maybe does more than there's required so maybe this is a lesson that you need to be learning that moderation and uh, you need to be balancing your scales and reminding yourself that uh, self-care is important as well if you're not being offered a seat on the table uh, the best thing is to walk away uh, from it um, so look at 2024 as a year of things coming on the surface uh, it's a transitioning year because before everything sort of uh, comes out all guns blazing it's a year where we are going to be seeing a lot of advancement in technology and ai softwares um, and how um, expansive the mind uh, can be. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Librans. I'll see you again soon. Bye.